Here is a detailed explanation of the 15 differences between placenta previa and placental abruption, covering definitions, clinical features, diagnosis, and management. 1. Definition Placenta previa is a condition in which the placenta implants partially or completely over the internal cervical us, the opening of the uterus into the cervix, obstructing the birth canal. Placental abruption, also known as abruptio placentae, is the premature separation of a normally implanted placenta from the decidua basalis before the delivery of the fetus, leading to bleeding and potential fetal compromise. 2. Timing of onset. Placenta previa generally presents in the second half of pregnancy, often during the third trimester, around 28 to 32 weeks and beyond. Placental abruption typically occurs after 20 weeks, most commonly in the third trimester or during labor. 3. Nature of bleeding. In placenta previa, the bleeding is usually bright red, fresh, and painless because the placental vessels are disrupted without uterine muscle involvement. In placental abruption, the bleeding is often dark red and painful, and it may be external, visible, or concealed, trapped behind the placenta inside the uterus. 4. Pain. Placenta previa bleeding is not accompanied by abdominal pain. The uterus remains soft and non-tender. Placental abruption is usually associated with sudden, severe abdominal or back pain and uterine tenderness due to irritation from the blood trapped behind the placenta. 5. Uterine tone. In placenta previa, the uterus typically feels soft and relaxed. In placental abruption, the uterus is often tense, rigid, and board-like upon palpation due to the accumulation of blood and increased tone. 6. Fetal heart rate abnormalities. In placenta previa, the fetus is usually not in immediate distress unless the bleeding becomes profuse and prolonged. In placental abruption, Fetal distress is common due to decreased oxygenation from compromised placental blood flow, which can lead to fetal demise if not managed promptly. 7. Cause etiology. Placenta previa is typically caused by low implantation of the fertilized egg in the lower uterine segment. Risk factors include previous cesarean section, uterine surgery, multiparity, and advanced maternal age. Placental abruption is often related to maternal hypertension, trauma, preeclampsia, smoking, cocaine use, or previous history of abruption. 8. Diagnostic imaging. Placenta previa is usually diagnosed by transvaginal or transabdominal ultrasound, which clearly shows the location of the placenta in relation to the cervical os. Placental abruption is often a clinical diagnosis. Ultrasound may help, but is not always reliable. Sensitivity is low. The diagnosis is based on history, symptoms, and examination. 9. Management Approach In placenta previa, management depends on gestational age, severity of bleeding, and placental position. Cesarean delivery is usually required, especially in major or complete previa. In placental abruption, management is more urgent. If the fetus is in distress or the bleeding is significant, immediate delivery is often necessary, sometimes via cesarean section. 10. Maternal Risks in placenta previa, the main maternal risk is postpartum hemorrhage due to poor uterine contraction near the placental site. In placental abruption, the risks include hemorrhagic shock, disseminated intravascular coagulation, and organ failure if bleeding is severe and untreated. 11. Fetal risks. In placenta previa, risks include premature birth, growth restriction, and malpresentation, e.g. breach, due to abnormal placental location. In placental abruption, risks include fetal hypoxia, preterm birth, stillbirth, and low birth weight. Number 12, concealed versus revealed hemorrhage. Placenta previa bleeding is revealed, meaning blood flows through the cervix and is visible. Placental abruption may have concealed hemorrhage, where blood accumulates behind the placenta and is not externally visible, making diagnosis more difficult. Number 13, association with previous conditions. Placenta previa is strongly associated with previous cesarean section, multiple pregnancies, uterine scarring, and IVF pregnancies. Placental abruption is more associated with chronic hypertension, trauma, preeclampsia, smoking, cocaine use, and abrupt changes in uterine volume, e.g. after ROM. 14. Digital vaginal examination. In placenta previa, digital vaginal examination is contraindicated until placenta location is confirmed by ultrasound due to the risk of provoking massive hemorrhage. 
In placental abruption, vaginal examination may be performed with caution if previa has been ruled out. 15. Placental location. In placenta previa, the placenta is abnormally low-lying and may partially or completely cover the cervix. In placental abruption, the placenta is normally located, but it detaches prematurely from the uterine wall. Thank you. Have a nice day.